everyone and welcome back to another Magical Moon video. It's a very busy day today here at the Moon household. We've got lots to be getting on with. We've got this beautiful old bench which I'm sitting on which was part of the old forge and we've got the artifacts which we found from down there and we're going to give it a clean and we're going to put it in the hallway because it's going to be part of where we go regularly metal detecting and hunting for treasures. And we found something very exciting, which we're gonna show you later in the video. Um, it's gonna be somewhere where we can put those special things which we find, it's all part of the history of the house, but it's gonna be in the hallway so the kids and visitors and anyone can enjoy it. We've had to have a bit of a cabinet reshuffle because we have a very special arrival coming the day after tomorrow. Uh, and I'll tell you more about that later, but what it's meant is that everyone apart from magic, if you thought you knew where the legends live, think again. Jenny's still going to name them, but they'll be in different positions. And that is, as I say, because we've got a very special arrival. So let's get on, get this cleaned. And then I've got to go down to the legends barn with Toby. And we've got to do a little bit of alteration just to make sure that where Epilan and Max have moved house, they still have the ability to chat to one another. So we've moved them all around, but we want them to still have the luxuries they had before. So let's do it.
it's been a really, really good job. And I'm so glad we took down the both sides. So now it's opened up this end of the Legends Barn and it really means that all the horses uh, get a feel for one another and they've got this protection so they obviously can't mingle but they can chat to one another which is going to be fantastic. And as we spoke about before, the open area at this end of the barn looking towards the winter we're going to try and make some sort of curtain system or blinds that we can roll down and when the weather permits we can open it back up because it's such a lovely open space. It is a bit higgledy-piggledy this barn but it is all part of the magic which we have in the legends. So um, the next job is we're going to go back up to the house and get that lovely old bench in the hallway. The bench is in and it looks really, really nice. It looks like it's been here forever. It might have even been here before the barn was converted. Who knows? But what we do know is it's going to be a really nice focal point. So as I said before, when people come or just for the kids and just our little treasures that we, we find around the house um, or sorry, around the lands, and in the house, we do send, we do find some little secrets here as well. But we've got some very special things, and we're, one of the finds the other day, which I was saying about, was this beautiful little pocket watch. Um, it's not marked; it is hallmarked. It's engraved on the back. There's no initials or anything on it, so who knows? But we also found a very, very nice antique. It's part of a shoe buckle. Um, it's really, really beautiful. It might have even had some stones or something in it. It's very fancy. We've got part of a, we think, a horse harness. Um, we didn't dig this guy up. He was someone, he was, I made him a few years ago when we were, um, yeah, deciding what we wanted to do. And uh, one of the things we thought was, let's do a little bit of steampunk. And Jenny said, well, while I'm making my bears, maybe you could have a go at making something. And uh, that's what I came up with. It was like a, a challenge. It was one of those school projects, but it was really, really enjoyable. And uh, he's been a part of the family ever since. So he's gonna keep an eye on all these old treasures. And um, yeah, we'll just keep accumulating and we keep searching and it's always interesting to find stuff. The watch is probably, the most intact, valuable, uh, or precious uh, object that we've found. So we've had a lot of steel, a lot of brass and bits and pieces, which is all interesting. So it's all part of the history. There's bits of machinery all over the place. Um, and we're discovering more and more, as we said. So we're gonna keep uh, exploring. Rupert's got his metal detector, which fits uh, beautifully on the second uh, shelf. But yeah, we'll just keep adding to it. And it's, um, as I say, it's something of uh, a, you know, a bit of a curiosity um, feature in the house um, and there's lots of this sort of stuff around so it's fantastic we've repurposed it and it is um, a beautiful old antique bench we're going to get on now because we've got to go and get the legends in uh, it's that time of the day and then tomorrow we have got our very special unexpected delivery so watch this space keep staying magical keep spreading the love and we'll see you very soon